St. Luke drawing the Virgin is a large oil and tempera on oak panel painting, usually dated between 1435 and 1440, attributed to the early Netherlandish painter Rogier van der Weyden. Housed in the Museum of Fine Arts, Boston, it shows Luke the Evangelist, patron saint of artists, sketching the Virgin Mary as she nurses the child Jesus. The figures are positioned in a bourgeois interior which leads out towards a courtyard, river, town and landscape. The enclosed garden, illusionistic carvings of Adam and Eve on the arms of Mary's throne, and attributes of St. Luke are amongst the painting's many iconographic symbols. St. Luke drawing the Virgin by Rahir van der Weyden exemplifies the change in artistic identity and the rising status of painters by portraying the alternate depiction of an evangelical figure. Rogier van der Weyden (1399–1464) was an early Netherlandish painter. His surviving works consist mainly of religious triptychs, altarpieces, and commissioned single and diptych portraits. Although his life was generally uneventful, he was highly successful and internationally famous in his lifetime. His vigorous, subtle, expressive painting and popular religious conceptions had considerable influence on European painting. This painting, called The Descent from the Cross, is generally regarded as his masterpiece. It was painted early in his career, shortly after he completed his apprenticeship with Robert Campin. Art historians have commented that this work was arguably the most influential Netherlandish painting of Christ's crucifixion. This is a triptych, which is a work of art that is divided into three sections. This particular piece is St. Luke had a vision of the Virgin Mary and child and painted that vision. As a result, he is the patron saint of painters. And you'll notice that St. Luke's eyes are half closed. So we know that he's not actually seeing the Virgin and child in front of him, but having a vision. It is not his painting in a sense. He is literally the hand of this angel. St. Luke, evangelist. St. Luke, a physician at Antioch and a painter became a convert of St. Paul, and afterwards his fellow laborer. He is best known to us as the historian of the New Testament. Though not an eyewitness of our Lord's life, the evangelist diligently gathered information from the lips of the apostles, and wrote, as he tells us, all things in order. The Acts of the Apostles were written by this evangelist as a sequel to his Gospel. <laughs>